Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about the bulk administration tool, how we can add the users uh, via bulk administration tool. So in the previous lecture, I discussed about how we can add the phones via bad tool. In today's lecture, I'm gonna discuss about the, how we can add the users in bulk. So let me log into my CUCM first, and then we will go through all the process, how we can add it, whether we need to create a template or do we have a bad extension tool? So that is what we are going to discuss it today. So I'm just gonna log in on my CUCM. So once it's logged in, so first you need to do, you need to download a bat Excel tool. Under that bat Excel tool, you will see different options for the phone, for the users, for the phones and users, like, like all these things you will get to see on that bat extension, bat Excel CSV tool. So here I'm logged in on my call manager. And if I go to this bulk administration, you can see upload slash download files. So I can click on that. So once you click on this upload download files and then you can click on find, you will be able to see bat.xlt tool. That is bat Excel CSV tool. That is what you need to actually download, right? So this is the bat.xlt which you need to download. So just select this one and download selected where it says download selected, just do that, right? So I have already uh, actually downloaded it earlier in my previous lecture. So I'm not gonna uh, download it again. And here you can see, this is my bat 14, which I downloaded it earlier. Let me open that one. I think that is already open, yes. So this is my bat tool, which is already open. So once you once you download that bat Excel CSV tool, you need to enable the macros as well. So if you don't know how to enable the macros on that particular file, which you downloaded it, you can go and check my previous lecture where uh, I was like, uh, adding the phones in bulk, right? So you can enable the content, enable the macros, and then you can come back. Okay, so here in this one, uh, we are going to add the users in bulk. So this is my bad tool, which I downloaded it. Next thing which I need to do on the CUCM is to create a template. So for the template, you need to go to the bulk administration, then go to the users, and here you can see user template okay so i'm gonna click on use the template so once i click on this user template i need to give the name and i need to choose few of the settings so here let's see if any template is showing created or not i just clicked on find so there will be one of the uh, one of the template it is created so i am gonna create a new one so that it will be an easy for us so let me click on add new so after clicking on add new, it will open a new page with, which contains the details which are on the end user page, like kind of most of the things. So here it says user template name. So let me just give test template users, like this one, test template users. Or if you want to give default password to user ID, you can check this one, default pin to telephone number, default telephone number to primary extension, default mail to user ID. If you want to choose this one, if you want to choose this one, you can just select it, then there will be a default password to the user ID. Then uh, there is a manager user ID, department, local, presence group. So that is what you can do on the template actually, right? So whatever you are doing on the template, it will be there for all the users, right? Let's say uh, here it is manager user ID, okay? Let me just select this one, manager user ID. Maybe I can just say test one at the rate abc.inc. So this manager user ID will be showing to all the users which are which you are going to create with the help of this user template name. That is this one, test underscore template underscore users, right? Then I have this one, uh, user rank, access control group or home cluster. If you want this home cluster to be checked for all the users, just check mark this one. And if you want to assign a particular present server, like if you have more than one present server, like you have three present server, then you can select it from here. Include this meeting information, assign presence user. If you have uh, like more than one, I can say two, three, four 
like I think we can have only three present servers, so not three, four, not the four, five. So you can add three present servers. So you can select this one, click on this drop down, and if you have three, you can you can see it up here and you can select it. Same goes with the user service profile as well. If you have already created the user service profiles, like for a chat only or chat or the IM only, or maybe maybe you have created a profile for the calling only purpose or calling in chat as well. So you will see those profiles here. And if you want to enable the mobility, you can just click on this one. So maybe I can do that, enable mobility, right? And then I can just click on save. So it says user template name must be less than 30 alphanumeric characters in length, okay? It is, I think, less than 30. Okay, let's try this one. And it should be alphanumeric, right? Test users. So let's just say this one and save it. So here in this template, I have added this manager user ID and then home cluster should be checked, enable mobility. So these things should be checked on the uh, on the template, right? So if these are checked, then if I am going to add like five users, 10 users, then these home cluster things, enable mobility and the manager user ID should show there. Right, so after this one, you have added the user template, okay? So after this one, what you need to do, you need to go to that bat Excel tool. Okay, let me go to this one. This is my bat Excel tool. That is like it is going, it is getting saved, it is under loading. But yeah, we can do this thing. Meanwhile, so I am on that users tab, and here you can see first name, middle name, last name, user ID, password, display name, manage user ID. So these things are optional actually. And here you can see first name, middle name optional, last name mandatory, user ID mandatory, password is optional, display name. So these things are optional. And there are so many things which are already coming up here, right? So you cannot do, uh, you cannot add or remove these options from this tool because you don't have any option to add or delete. So you can directly export to bad format, whichever, whatever it is showing up here. So I can do one thing, Let let's, try to export to bad format directly. So once you click on this one, it says there is no data to export. So you need to add something at least as a, you know, in a one line, that means then it will be able to export it. Meanwhile, let's check whether that is saved. Okay, it is still getting saved. Yeah, but let's continue with the same. Okay, so here, okay, let me select this one. Okay, so here, let me just add so first name, it is saying optional, middle name showing optional, last name, it says mandatory. So let me just add like this venture. User ID, let me give like this one, T venture one. Password, this is optional, but I can add it like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me add this one. Display name, manager user ID. So I am putting this manager user ID as a blank here. And then I am gonna choose the template which I created. So on this T venture one user ID manager user ID should show should it should be displayed because I have added it under the template. So I am just leaving this field blank. Pin default profile user local mobile number home number pager title prime D extension like all other things are coming up here. So all these things are optional so you can just leave it as a blank. Okay, so enable EMCC directory, enable mobility. So I have I have added uh, enable mobility option on the template, so it will it will be there. So I can just go to the last and I can export it to the bat format because all these things are optional. So let me click this one, export to bat. It says okay, it is getting saved under this Excel data files users and this one. So it is ending with three zero six and let me click okay. Okay, so it says data successfully exported to this text file. Okay, now let me open this file. Go to file, click on open. I'll choose the path, this one, browse. Then I'll go to my PC, C drive. It was under XLS data files. And it was ending with this 306. So once you click on this one, you will be able to see all these things here.
here I know I have added this venture as the last name, T venture one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a pin. Okay, let me open it. So here it says text import wizard. So I am gonna click on delimited because it says characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. Everything is coming up like this. So I need to separate it with the help of commas or tabs. So I'm saying delimited next. Then what would be the delimiter? I can say comma. Then it would it would actually divide it, right? And then I'll go to the next and finish. Okay, so once we click on finish, you can see all these things are coming up here. First, middle, last name, user ID, everything is coming up here, right? So even if you want to delete these things now, now you can delete it because if you just need this last name, username and password, then that is all. Rest of the things you can delete it, right? So I'm not gonna delete it right now. I'm just gonna save it. It says some features you uh, in your workbook might be lost if you save it in the CSV. Yes, I need to save it in the CSV. Do you want to keep using that format? I can say yes. Okay, or maybe I don't know where this file got saved. So let me just click on save as browse and I can save it on the desktop so that it's easier to find this CSV file. I can give file name as test users, save it. Yes, okay, so now this file is also saved. I can go back to my call manager here. It is still showing loading. So here we can see uh, it is showing at successful. So let me go back to my uh, user template and we'll see whether this template is showing up there as it was showing successful. And here you can see it says test users. That means this is successful. So now I'll go back to my bulk administration, click on this upload slash download files again. So previously I downloaded the file. Now I am going to upload the file, right? So I'll go to let's let's just click on find so that you will be able to see what all are the files already showing up there. Right. So here you can see it is saying insert post specific details. Everything is showing up here, right? So now let me just to click add new and upload that file. Okay, so I'll choose the file. Okay, so this one was my file. I have created this one today. Test users and let me open it. So here is the CSV file. It says select the target. So target would be users transaction type it says i am going to insert the users okay and save it okay so now this file is getting saved now you can see upload it successful so now my next step would be again go to the bulk administration then go to the users and then here you can see this user template we already created now we have an option for the insert users so let me click on this one Okay, and you remember this test underscore user was my file. This one, right here, only one user was showing venture t venture one one two three four five six. This is the password. If you want to add multiples, you can just add it in this row, in this row, third, fourth, fifth, six, like that. So let me uh, here it says file name. I need to choose the file name. Here it says test underscore users, which I created, and I can reconfirm it by clicking on this view file. So once you click on this view file, you will be able to see the user which you added like this one. This one was the last name. This one was user ID. This one was the password which I did. OK, let me close it. Now it is saying what would be the user template you wanted to use. That is what it says user template name. So I'll click on this drop down and I can see these two templates were there and I created this one test users. OK. And then it says job information, uh, whether you want to run immediately or run later. OK, now let me click on submit.
So after submitting, we need to go to the job scheduler to see the progress. For that, you can go to this bulk administration job scheduler. Okay, under the job scheduler, let me click on find so that I can see uh, whatever I did is showing up, whether it's in processing state, whether it is completed, or is it throwing any error, like everything. It will show all these things here. So let's see, I'll go to the last. Okay, I think I forgot to click on the run immediately. So that's why it says hold. So let me open this one. And here you can see it says activate job. So let me activate job as well. But if you run immediately from there, it will run immediately and it will show like in processing or completed, but not hold. So as of now it was showing hold. That's why I activated the job. Let me go down. It says pending and if we refresh it, then it will get like completed within a couple of seconds. So let's see, I just refresh and we'll see. Okay, now it says insert users completed, right? And now let me open this one and we'll see whether it is success or error. Okay, uh, here it says job result status success, number of records processed one. Records fail zero. Okay, so you can go up here and here you can see it says no error found, right? Insert for one users passed, right? So now I can close this one. I can go to the end user page, user management, end user. Okay, let me click on find. Okay, so here you can see this T Venture one, which I added is here. User ID T Venture one, last name was Venture. This is local user. Let me open this one and we'll see uh, whether it is showing the things which I added on the template. Is it showing up there or not? So here it is showing the password. And here you can see under the manager user ID, it is showing test one at the rate abc.inc. That is what I added on the template. Next thing, I added this home cluster, enable user and this thing as well. Next thing I added, enable mobility. Yes, this one, mobility information. Here it says this is checked, enable mobility, right? So that means everything is showing up there, which I added on the template, or maybe I can say which I added on the, on the bad tool, which I, which I created, correct? So, that is how we can add the users via bulk administration tool. So in the in the next lecture, we will discuss about this phones and users, how we can add phones and users in one go. Like uh, whatever I did as of now, I have added users in previous lecture, I have added phones, but in the next upcoming lecture, we can add phones and users with the help of one file only, right? So if you like this video, I hope you learned something from this one. So if you like it, then please hit like, share it and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.